Hi, my name is Sultan Riaz. I'm the marketing coordinator at MediaWiz in the New York City office, and today I'll be interviewing Mark Pertel, SEO director in the Florida office. Uh, Mark, how are you doing today? Doing great, thank you. All right, great. So today, what we what we will be doing is we'll be going over the content marketing like a pro ebook that's available for free on MediaWiz.com. Just be digging a little bit deeper into it and trying to get some more tips and advice for all the people watching out there today. So let's just get started with you, Mark. Let's learn a little bit more about yourself. How long have you worked in SEO and how did you get started in the industry? Yeah, so I've been working in SEO about eight years now. I studied web design and usability in college. Afterward, I was sort of exploring career opportunities and I just happened to come across a posting that it was really unique as far as job postings go. Uh, sparked my interest and it was actually for a link building position. I ended up taking it and then you know, as I started to learn about the principles of SEO, it made a lot of sense and just uh, continued to pursue that path. So how has SEO changed since you first began working in the industry? Well, it's certainly become a lot harder, but that's really you know, one of the things that keeps myself and other SEO professionals engaged because it is a constantly changing landscape so it requires constant learning. Another, another good thing about the way that SEO has evolved is it's really become more and more integrated with other marketing channels. So there's a lot more interaction among the various teams. So a lot less of, of teams being siloed. Okay. Um, and how has content marketing evolved over the past few years? So it's really shifted from sort of a tactic to a full-on strategy. Content marketing is nothing new, but it's really, as of late, generated a lot of buzz and really emerged as uh, a marketing channel in and of itself. And it's really a very important piece to an overall digital strategy. Yeah, you mentioned how it evolved into a marketing channel by itself. So what role does content marketing play in SEO? And will content marketing and SEO ever become interchangeable in the near future? Yeah, so... Um, Content marketing is really good for building a brand's authority in the search engines. So good content marketing will naturally generate lots of social shares, links, as well as uh, passing authority through author rank, assuming it's written by an authoritative author. So these are all strong signals to search engines that there's value to that web property. Okay. Uh, will they? Will will content marketing and SEO become interchangeable? Absolutely not. There's a lot more to SEO than content marketing, and there's a lot more to content marketing than SEO. So um, they do complement each other very well, but are by no means interchangeable. Okay. Um, so if you had to give a few rules out, what what basic rules do you believe should be followed when executing a content marketing strategy? Um, so definitely, you want to know your audience. So you know understanding what's compelling to them and speaking directly to their needs, their interests, their wants is going to better engage those individuals so they're going to be more likely to share the content. Um, another another uh, good, good practice to follow is not to write for SEO. So a lot of times people will um, you know, run a content marketing campaign just around a specific keyword. Um, you know, it's really about writing specifically to the audience. You, you really want to write with, with the humans in, in mind uh, because that's really what's, what's going to drive success. Um, also, it's, it's important to measure success because every time you run a content marketing campaign, there's going to be a lot of learning that comes out of that. So, you know, you'll get a better idea of what types of media uh, perform the best as well as what topics. Uh, and so you can really use that learning moving forward to refine your strategy. Okay. Um, just a quick question. When um, someone does, say a company decides to, let's just write an article based off of one keyword and the whole point is to write for SEO, uh, does that benefit them in the long term or does that really hurt them in the long term in any way? It's, yeah, that, you know, a lot of times it's a common mistake that people will over-optimize um, against a, a, a keyword. So that type of content is, it reads very poorly and it's not going to provide value to, to the user, so they're not going to engage with it. So it's really a bad practice. It's not going to you know, provide any, any value. Okay. Um, if you could give one tip on building a successful strategy, what would that one tip be? So 
So above all else, um, you know, provide something of value to the human users. That's really what it all boils down to. So if you do that, everything will fall into place. All right, and uh, I guess we kind of talked about this a little bit, but maybe going into a little bit more detail. What are some of the most common mistakes companies make with their content marketing, and how can content marketers ensure that they don't make those same mistakes? Sure. So definitely, you know, over-optimization, writing for SEO is, is a huge mistake um, and very common. Uh, beyond that, I, you know, failure to fact check is, is an issue because it, part of content marketing is really about building trust with your audience. You want people to trust your brand. So if you're making inaccurate claims, it's it really gonna gonna hurt that relationship. So it's really unacceptable. You you really want to take the time and and make sure that what you're putting out there on the web is factual. Uh, another another common mistake okay. is is actually uh, poor distribution. So it's really important to select placements that are relevant both to the audience and to the topic of the content. And that's really, you know, what's going to provide the most value, both for you and for the end user. So, you know, don't just get lazy and, and decide to syndicate a piece of content you know, through an article directory or anything like that. Really take the time to find the right placements for it. Okay. And finally, how can marketers at a smaller company leverage industry influencers? I know you mentioned that in the in your ebook. Um, it's easy for big brands to do that to get industry influencers to guest blog on a website or to help them promote the company, but, but what can a mom and pop store do and what should what what should be its influencer strategy for those small businesses? What should That's a great do? question. So it's really Your about building be. relationships. So you want to do the research and identify who the influencers are within your industry and engage with them. So follow their social media profiles, comment on their posts. And you know this sort of engagement is really going to build a relationship with these influencers. So then, when you when you come and offer them an opportunity to guest post, they're going to be more likely than not to accept. All right. Well, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to dig a little bit deeper into the content marketing like a pro ebook. Again, that ebook is available online at mediawiz.com for free, and you can download it straight off of our website. Thanks, Mark. Thank you, Tom.